Hello, Carlsbad superstars. This is Mrs. Logan. Today we are going to take another adventure. Let me give you a few clues to see if you can figure out what we are going to do. Some things we'll need for today's adventure are some comfortable shoes and a lot of water. We'll also need a detailed map of downtown San Diego. If you guessed we're going hiking, you are right. I grew up visiting national parks with my family. We had a pop-up trailer that we pulled behind our station wagon, and every summer we'd take a couple of weeks to explore the country. My dad loved taking pictures, and my mom liked to be the navigator, and my sister Jody and I, here she is in a blue jacket, loved to just run around and explore. There are 62 national parks in the United States and they're special areas. They're unique and they're protected. The National Park Service was founded in 1916 by Theodore Roosevelt and Stephen Mather, and they contain some of our nation's most treasured landscapes. From Glacier's Iceberg Lake to Zion's Observation Point and Yellowstone's West Geyser Basin and Yosemite's Upper Falls, Every national park has something unique and worth treasuring. So hiking is something I did as a kid and something I still enjoy doing as an adult. So as you may know, hiking can be a challenge and it can also be kind of messy. So here are some hikes that I've taken around Southern California the last few months. Maybe you'll recognize some. This is Elfin Forest. You can hike up to the Olivenhain Reservoir. Check out this spider web I saw one morning covered in dew. Here's a great trail right in Carlsbad. If you park up at the Crossings Golf Course, up in the back corner, you'll see a trailhead. It'll take you down a ravine, over a bridge, and eventually through a tunnel. Once you get through the tunnel, you'll arrive at the new Veterans Memorial Park Loop Trail. The trail gives you a nice climb and a beautiful view of Agua Hedionda. Driving up towards San Alejo, I found this trail which had some steep hills and beautiful flowers. It also had a great view of Batiquitos Lagoon. You can even see the remains of an old mining site here. You may recognize this area in Escondido. It's called Dixon Lake. There are beautiful trails for biking. You can also hike up to Stanley Peak for a panoramic view well worth the climb. One day I took a little drive out to Fallbrook and found this trail called the Santa Margarita River Trail. It had lots of trees and foliage along the river. In Poway you can hike to this potato chip rock formation. On the day I went here I also saw a rattlesnake. As you can tell, hiking is something that I really enjoy. I think it's because being outdoors and seeing new things, I can be on the same trail multiple times and each time it can be a totally different experience. So, a couple of weeks ago, I was out in Rancho Penasquitos and I had to cross this river. And I started thinking about all the different kinds of bridges there were and how useful they are when I got home, I googled bridges in San Diego and found this cool seven bridge hike. The red line is where we're going to go walking, so it is one large loop trail. So I headed out the next morning. Alright superstars, sit back, relax, and check out these cool bridges. Walking to our first bridge, we see lots of different architecture and fountains. There's a lot of museums along the way and some beautiful gardens. Balboa Park is full of museums. The Science Museum, of course, Natural History Museum, the Museum of Man, the Museum of Art. It also has the San Diego Zoo and many more. It doesn't take long before we reach our first bridge. <clears throat> it's called the Cabrillo Bridge and it was built in 1914. 
Engineers found when they were trying to make longer bridges, it was useful to have many supports or legs that would distribute the load of the bridge and anything that would cross over it. We continue walking west on Laurel Street for a few blocks and turn right onto First Avenue. Here we come to our second bridge. It's called First Avenue Bridge, and it's also known as the People's Bridge. This bridge is the only steel arched bridge in all of San Diego. There's lots of pretty sights along the way. At the end of Quincy Street, we find a 236 foot long bridge crossing 60 feet above Maple Canyon. The wooden trestle bridge was constructed in 1905 for pedestrians to get access to the 4th Avenue trolley station across the canyon. Suspension Bridge. Oh, it's pretty busy. See, we all have our masks on. We're going to be walking over Maple Canyon. Oh. Bikers, dog. Oh, you can feel it moving under your feet. Morning. Yeah, look at you can actually see the bridge moving a little. Here, I'm going to stop for a minute. Go ahead and walk by, guys. Watch how it's. <laughs> oh, this one is fun. Oh, whoa, we are pretty. ran into Oscar the Grouch and made friends with a pooch, saw some cool trees. There were some restaurants and coffee shops along the way. We even stopped in Trader Joe's to grab a quick snack. All these boxes outside reminded me of the cool games you made for Kane's Arcade. We walked over this bridge with the green rail over the highway. And I'm not sure why, but it wasn't listed on my All Trails map as one of the seven bridges that we were going to hike. So I think maybe we end up doing eight. Happiness and health are coming your way. Vermont Street Bridge is also known as the Millennium Bridge. This steel bridge has the work of three local artists. They've laser cut steel panels in a beautiful blue color with lots of quotes, including Dr. Seuss and Martin Luther King. Our sixth bridge is called the Georgia Street Bridge. It's actually an arch style bridge and a historic structure that was built more than a century ago. Well, we've come to our final bridge. It's called the Park Boulevard Bridge and it's a pedestrian bridge, which means only people can go on it and we're crossing back over towards the Natural History Museum and the Science Museum. So we've seen a lot of different styles of bridges today. Here are a few more common styles. Beam style, truss, the cantilever was the first bridge we went over. We saw an arch bridge today and suspension bridge. The cable stayed bridge is also very common. Check out these amazing bridges found around the world. These are 12 of the coolest bridges in the world. 
12. Royal Gorge Bridge The Royal Gorge Bridge is located near Cannon City, Colorado. The bridge spans the Royal Gorge 955 feet above the Arkansas River and held the record for the highest bridge in the world for over 72 years, from 1929 until it was overtaken by the Luganga Bridge in China in 2001. It remains the highest bridge in the United States and the 12th highest in the world. The bridge is 1,260 feet long and 18 feet wide. The Royal Gorge Bridge took six months to build in 1929 at a cost of $350,000 and was designed as a tourist attraction, not as a through route. It would cost $20 million to replace the bridge today. 11. Crab Bridge The Crab Bridge on Christmas Island in Australia is the world's only bridge specifically designed and built for use by crabs. Once a year, tens of millions of crabs need to make their way from their forest habitat to the ocean to breed. After mating, the male crabs return to the forest, with the females following suit a couple of weeks later, after laying their eggs. All this back and forth presents a potential danger for these crabs as their route to and from the forest crosses a major roadway. To prevent unnecessary roadkill, the Australian government commissioned a special bridge which would allow the crabs to safely climb up and over the roadway. 10. Mathematical Bridge The Mathematical Bridge is a wooden footbridge that connects two parts of Queen's College, located in Cambridge, England. The bridge was designed by William Etheridge and built by James Essex in 1749. The bridge gets its name from the sophisticated engineering design which allowed the curved bridge to be built out of straight timbers. The timbers form a series of tangents which tie together making it rigid and self-supporting. Some believe the bridge was assembled without any nuts and bolts, since none are visible from the outside, but iron spikes were actually used to hold it together. They were driven from the interior of the bridge to preserve its aesthetic. Another popular myth ascribes the design and construction of the bridge to Sir Isaac Newton, but he died 22 years before the bridge was constructed. 9. Slauhof Brug Bridge The Slauhof Brug Bridge, also known as the Flying Bridge, is a bridge located in the city of Leeuwarden in the Netherlands. What's unique about this bridge is it's not permanently fixed in place. It consists of a large section of roadway connected to a machine that raises and lowers it in place. The Flying Bridge is similar to a drawbridge, but is much more efficient and can quickly and easily allow waterborne traffic to pass and have normal traffic resume in a short period of time. 8. The Living Roots Bridge Don't have the necessary materials to build a bridge? No problem! Let Mother Nature do it for you! The Living Roots Bridge actually refer to a series of bridges in the northeast Indian state of Meghalaya that were grown in place rather than assembled. They were created by the indigenous Kazi people who manipulate the roots from rubber trees to form the bridges. These bridges can take up to 15 years to complete, but can theoretically last hundreds of years as long as the trees they are formed from remain healthy. A side benefit from this type of construction is that the bridges strengthen over time as the tree roots grow thicker. 7. Storsais Dundit Bridge The Storsais Dundit Bridge connects the municipalities of Norway, and it's also the longest of eight bridges that make up the Atlantic Road, linking the mainland to the islands of the archipelago. It's 850 feet long and stands at a height of 75 feet above the water. Construction of the bridge started in 1989 and took six years to build, primarily due to the fact that construction was halted 12 times due to hurricanes. It cost 120 million crores or almost $1.5 million. The toll bridge was projected to recoup the capital cost to build it within 15 years, but it actually paid for itself in 10. 6. Rakatz Bridge The Rakatz Bridge is located in Kramlauer Park in Germany. Built in 1860, the thin, arched bridge was commissioned by the knight of the local town and built of stone from a nearby quarry. It's known as a Devil's Bridge because the people thought the bridge's sinister-looking design must have been built by Satan himself. What's unique about this bridge is that its curved span was designed to form a perfect half-circle, and when viewed with its reflection in the lake appears to form a perfect circle. Visitors can still enjoy the sight of this unique bridge, but none are allowed to cross it for fear the span may collapse. 
5. Ubane Bridge The Ubane Bridge, named after the mayor who built it, spans Talthaman Lake in Myanmar. It's believed to be the longest teakwood bridge in the world. Constructed in 1850, the bridge consists of 1,086 pillars that support 482 separate spans that comprise the bridge's length. The teakwood that was used in the building of the bridge was reclaimed from the former royal palace in Inwa. The bridge also has nine passageways where the wood can be removed to let barges and large boats through. Despite its age, it is still in use by both locals and tourists today. 4. Arc Triumph Inflatable Bridge An inflatable bridge was an unusual entrant by a Paris-based architecture group into a French competition to design a new contemporary bridge across the River Seine in Paris. This bold yet elegant bridge was specifically designed to differentiate itself from the other 37 bridges in Paris. And the inflatable bridge is no mere footbridge. It actually makes use of giant trampolines to shuttle pedestrians to the other side. It was also designed to be temporary like the Eiffel Tower, which was supposed to be dismantled 20 years after the 1889 World Expo. The designers of the inflatable bridge can only hope that their bridge will last as long. 3. Kaura Gorge Suspension Bridge The Kaura Gorge Suspension Bridge, located in the Otago region of New Zealand, has an interesting claim to fame. It was the first bridge to be used as a commercial bungee jumping site. The bridge was built in 1880 to provide access to the central Otago goldfields, but now is part of the Queenstown Trail, which allows pedestrians and bikers to safely cross the Kaura River. The bridge is still used by the AJ Hackett Bungee Company for bungee jumping, and is also listed as a Category 1 Historic Place by the New Zealand Historic Places Trust. 2. Hanging Bridge of Gaza The Hanging Bridge is located high up in the Himalayan mountains in Gaza, Nepal. The bridge spans the Baruch de Kola River Valley and was actually built for a very practical reason, to ease the congestion caused by local animal herds. While the bridge appears dangerous at first sight, it has stood the test of time and is currently still in use. Local herders and farmers use it every day to transport their goods and livestock to the local market. 1. Shahara Bridge The Shahara Bridge, also known as the Bridge of Size, is a stone bridge located at the top of the 8,530-foot-tall Jabal Shahara Mountain in Yemen. It was built in the 17th century to connect the village of Shahara with other villages in the area. It was also designed to be easily destroyed in case of attack by Turkish invaders. The bridge spans a 300-foot-deep canyon high up in the mountains and is popular with both locals and tourists alike. It can be reached by climbing the many steps carved into the steep mountainside. Boy, I sure did learn a lot from being inspired by this one bridge. So I have three challenges for you to choose from today, and all of them involve you being an engineer. The first challenge is to build a bridge using any materials you have and test how strong it is by adding weight. Challenge two is to build two kinds of bridges and compare them to see which is stronger and can withhold the most weight. Challenge number three, build one or two kinds of bridges. Test your designs by adding weight and analyze your results. Make changes to make your bridges stronger. What materials can you use? Anything you have. Paper, Legos, popsicles, sticks, tape, string, toilet paper rolls, pencils, foam, toothpicks, cards, toys, pipe cleaners. Have fun building, and I hope this video inspires you to get out and take a hike.